All right, people. Subscriber game. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. I think I'm going to run my Bobcats again, man. Uh. I'm going to run Bobcats again. Let's go, man. So you can get. Go. Let's get it. Terrible. Are you getting, man? Are you getting? Are you getting? Cavs, okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get CDR up in there. Man, I first got an 85. That's it. Hey. Okay. Dang on Kimball. There we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Let's get this tip, though. Let's get this tip, though. Let's get this tip. I'm Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg with Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. Still lagging? We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. And breaking down the game, let's okay, I got you. Josh McRoberts. Well, McRoberts is a very athletic big man. He never developed into the offensive player. A lot of people thought he would when he was at Duke. But he's become a, a nice and one. big man. With and his ability to handle the ball as a big man. You know what he's also Come on, KG, let's go, baby. He can, he can handle the ball, but, but not a great score, as you see. There we go. But he's more comfortable in a complimentary role anyway. You see how Kimmel doing carry for a little bit. Michael Kidd Gilchrist was the small forward who could give you a little bit of everything. And that's exactly mm. what he did in his first season with the Bobcats. Missed that. When you think of the comparisons for Michael Kidd, Gilchrist reminds a lot of people of Terrell Wallace. What about you? Yeah, I like you? that comparison, quite honestly. Um, Wallace probably the best pop player in Bobcats franchise history, Kevin, and both terrific athletes with major motives. Guys that you didn't have to rev up. Good defenders and rebounders. Um, I think that's um, a realistic comparison. Here's Jefferson. Shot is blocked. They retain. Go strong, man. Let's go. Finishing that one off. Now, I like it. Too. There's the dish. Yeah. On the wing, dang. Pocket six. Give me that. And it's blocked by Kid Gilchrist. Give me that. Let's go. We play defense, baby. Let's go. Outside, Walker. Walker gets a 
screen from Ed Roberts. I, was, I, was, I shouldn't have shot that. Shouldn't have shot that. Oh, oh. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Guys, they're looking for Short. a score here. Ah. Lid off the basket so far. Pure hustle on that play, and that's what it takes on the offensive board. It's not about ability as much as it is. That was horrible. And that Clark and some muscle, and he showed us he's got plenty of that with the huge dunk. Well, in a tight game, I mean, they could use a few more of those hustle plays going forward if they're going to win. Good one, good one, good one. With the buckets. We're in a tight game. It's going to be a tight game. It's dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Walker with it. And it's Waiters picking him up. Walker dishes to Henderson. Here's Jefferson. Jefferson! You're going to so weak right now. I'll get floater. And that one's good. Jefferson, you're killing me. We played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Walker against Dang. Walker kicks to Jefferson. Charlotte moving it around. Henderson. Charlotte gets it back. And James Shaw. Yo! And Thompson sends it back. Here's Waiters. Right out of here. Rejected by Kid Gilchrist. And Walker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Here's McRoberts. Thank you! And they convert it last on attempt number three. You see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. No good from Irving. Steve Clifford has 13 years of experience as an NBA assistant coach with stops in New York, Houston, Orlando, and Los Angeles, and now as the new coach in Charlotte. I think he's the guy. Hey, man, Robert, let's go, baby. You know they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, yeah, floor. But I got that shit time. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his head. To handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You can see that there. Jefferson's shot is off. Jeff, you playing weak as shit right now. And Clifford, the sixth head coach in the Bobcats 10 year wow. history. Well, he's a defensive minded coach. Uh, Jeff Van Gundy phoned uh, someone who worked for, for Van Gundy in Houston, uh, but has always been highly regarded around the league. I think uh, he's going to make a good impact in Charlotte. Take possession. The Bobcats making a switch here. Jefferson playing weak. My whole team playing weak. Back off that. Back off that. Back off that. Irving passes to Waiters. Back to Irving. To the right side. This shot. And Dion Waiters, the bucket on the end. Just by Irving. And down three. 23 left here in the opening quarter. Ridenauer again. It's Dang. Here's Taylor. Here's Biombo. Yo! Zeller dishes the team. Here's Douglas Roberts. No good from outside. Cleveland leading by three. Here's Irving. Staverjao. Good on the first shit, foot. Man. Jones got his first points in this one. And yeah, they're moving the ball now. Eight of their last ten points coming off assisted buckets. Steve, nothing makes a coach smile as much as pure selfless teamwork. Here's Irving. The Bobcats making the shot. Good D. Good D. Good D. Boy, boy. Offensive rebound. Here's Waiters. Ridenauer again, it's Irving. A second chance effort. Can't hit. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. Just one second between the shots. <laughs> oh, my bless a week! He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Everybody playing as weak as hell, man. Everybody playing weak as hell. Everybody playing weak as hell. No, go back. Making a 
change here. And they're about playing weak as shit right now. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the first. And Jack kicks to Waiters. Good D. There's the block. And still a post game. Good defense at the end there. Good defense. What to save me? Way to save me. What to save me. It's gonna be a hard fall game here. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? And I thought the defense was key here for this club. They really tightened up and made it difficult on their opponents. Don't reach, baby. Stop reaching. I mean, they've really been in sync as a unit. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So on the floor for Cleveland. Zeller is out there with Anderson Barajal. Then it's Jared Jack. Then it's Alonzo G. Douglas Roberts passed to Biombo. Shot clock at five. It's deflected. Here's Walker. Whew. And that one's good. Whew. Walker's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Bobcats. Passes to Zeller. Uh. He takes the fantastic lead pass up strong. Good the ball in. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game. Let's like go, that. big man. Big to big, baby. Let's go. I just, you know what, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I, I just like to stop, man. To just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Ah, uh, good pass. Short, though. Going into the season. The hopes were high for the Cavs this past year, but the injury bug really derailed them. Injuries to Irving, Thompson, Zeller, and the big one, the Verizal, really threw them off kilter in terms of having a decent season. No, well, I, I need to take him out there, Gary Neal. Yes, Kevin, Al Jefferson signed a three-year, $40 million contract with the Bobcats this summer. He said growing up in small town Prentice, Mississippi, it's no problem for him playing in a small market, and he loves the fit with the team. Coach talked about the impact he can have, saying, quote, the toughest thing to do is execute in the half-court offense, but when you have a Good guy D. like Al, it makes it a lot easier. Guys? Sure does. Thanks, Doris. And going back to the injuries for Cleveland last year, Clark was just talking about the Verizhou injury was huge as he provided so much for them in the interior. And Irving was in and out of the lineup for a good part of the season. Steve, it was a disaster. It really was. I'll tell you what, when Verizhou and Irving were in together, they were fun to watch. Good day. Board day. Ah! No consistency with the lineup, and the young team just went south as the season went on. Damn! Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times. So no one I don't want MKG in right now. Dang, he tired, so I got to put him in. Like Shit. Can win. They both have confidence. Uh, so we'll Thank you, man. Kind of ride the momentum and take control of this game. And now the first time I've called here for the Bobcats. And the Bobcats have changed their look on the floor. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Come on, Jefferson. Yes. And that one's good by Henderson. Henderson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Irving mm. is just the waiters. Back to Irving. He kicks to Thompson. Yes. Yeah, hop step, Bonte. To get in the lane. And the Cavaliers lead by one. Look at Irving and how much success he's had early in his NBA career. I think the only thing standing between him and, and true stardom right now is health. He's just had a lot of nagging injuries. He would love to put together an injury-free season. Stolen by Waiters. Irving with the ball. 
He's picked up by ah. A nice shot by Irving. A little touch of class there, guys. The end of that play with the finger roll. Jefferson setting the pick for Walker. Good shot. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And for Kyrie Irving, his first All Star appearance last season, and, and just to park his second. Good day, good day, good day. Got a little bit on that. Really a skilled scorer and playmaker already with size and athleticism. Not like a savvy chief, Kevin. He's very slick in how he gets around the basketball court. Uh, this kid has a chance to perhaps be an MVP caliber player in a few more years. And Walker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. There you go. It's a scary thought for the league, guys, if Michael Kid Gilchrist ever gets Oh, to the come on. I mean, his ability to slash and get to the bucket combined with a consistent jumper would make him one of the toughest guys in the league to guard. And the second free throw, good. Cleveland's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Irving attacking Thompson left side. So and blows on the shot from two free throws for the contact right there. And for Kid Gilchrist, the outside shot is a work in progress. I'll tell you what, though, he, he is a great slash. He's tough. He's got a good handle on the ball, and when he gets in the open floor, finishes well at the rim. Sometimes through contact because of his strength. So, Shit. Yeah, you're right. The, the jump shot is is the last component. The that kind of hurts. Yeah, that kind of hurts. Rednauer's checked in. <laughs> We got, we got him. Missed a free throw, and we got down there on, on the leg on break and couldn't do nothing with it. For the Cavaliers, you gotta like the consistency they're showing with that mid-range shot. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. Good shot. Good shot. And that one's good by Henderson. Cavaliers have gone five of eleven from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Attacking. Mm. Can't get it to go. Jefferson was a nice deep. Henderson with it. Gordon no loop. Ridenauer's shot is off. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Then kicks to Waiters. And here we go. Fast break. Henderson's got it. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Jefferson again. Thompson. The turnaround. Jeff. Yo! He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. No good from Irving. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance. Oh, man. Good Lord. Good first half. Low scoring first half. We'll have the start of the third quarter for you short. But first, it's the sprint halftime show. I ain't going to want to play for you next year. Good Lord. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out a way here in the right, We need some buckets to fall. I put some shooting in. I put CDR in the game right now. We need some shooting. Ten point, and he's also been picking up some nice pick and roll. Here okay, and there no too. pick and roll. Well, he's going to have to continue to play this way, Clark, because this offense thrives on his passing ability, and they've got it going right now. On the court for Charlotte, Harry in the back court. It's Walker and Henderson. Thank you for not giving that scoop bullshit. There with Josh McRoberts, and it's Jefferson in at the five down low. For the Bobcats, some tough missed the open jump shot. Missed the tip in. Man, what else can we do, man? Second worst record last season, but they ah. four pick. And they need so much help, but the lottery fortune hasn't gone their way. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Thank you, Kevin. There was a lot of speculation on what the Cavs were doing. No, no, no. No clear cut number one. And they had a handful of guys to select from and even tried to shop the pick. Yeah, we're down. We're down a little bit. We ain't down much. Oh. Yeah, great young player and certainly come on Walker money shots good by Walker but man man come on now 
And Clark, you mentioned the struggles last year for the Bobcats. Can't leave Kim open, baby. The worst defense, second worst in rebounding, and Steve, the third worst in offense. They just didn't have enough talent. Uh, it's been a long struggle for this team the last few years. No! It's starting to grow. It's ah. good, but there's still a lot of work to be done in Charlotte. The Cavaliers are... Oh, we, we need boards, man. We got to get boards. We got to crash the defensive glass. We need boards. He missed a free throw. Team about 76% a year ago. Going down, down three. It took a while for Deion Waiters to find his way in the NBA, but after about half a season, he really started to grow with the cast. Showed a lot of that potential as he put forth a, a much more efficient effort. Ah! I'm forcing it. I'm forcing it. I am forcing the shots. I'm forcing the shots. Walker against Irving. Rejected by Henderson. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. To tie. Waiters grabs the miss. Waiters got his third rebound on the night. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. And you know, he's drawn some Dwayne Wade comparisons for his slashing and finishing ability, and I can understand it, but hold up, folks. Don't get carried away with that yet, but I love what Waiters showed in his rookie year. He's got wow. playmaking ability, has active hands defensively, first team all rookie. He's going to be a key part of the Cavs going forward. The Bobcats making a switch here. Walker goes in. Henderson with it. He's picked up by Dan. Henderson passes to Jefferson. Come on, Big Al. Foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two. A lot of free throws. Come on, man. Jefferson scores in the low post and all the attention that he gets. One of the more. Oh, missed the B and make the C. Get the hell out of here, man. Fucking 2K logic. Great footwork and fakes down low. A very nice way of maneuvering his way in a congested area. Yeah, he's got I got crash boards on. We can't get the board, so man. To, to gather and go up with that that right-handed hook, kind of one-handed push hook, and you know he dominates that block. And that one's good by Henderson. And we had that shit. All he was a board. All he was a board. Outside Irving. Okay. Ah. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. Oh, I had that. Boy, such. Foul him. We'll foul him. We'll foul him. We'll foul him. We'll foul him. Patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assist. And Cleveland making a change here. Well, he didn't quit on the play. He defended the shot, contested it, and then got back straight to the glass. Walker dishes to McRoberts. Let's go, baby. On the assist by Walker. Walker's got six assists now in the game. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. And Jack kicks to Bennett. And what? A trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Anthony Bennett, six. Hell no, get him get his ass out of the game. Incredibly explosive and athletic. A multifaceted score. He shot 38% from long Oof. range with the running rebels in his one season in college but also an excellent finisher in the paint catching up on the changes for Charlotte Zeller comes in for Al Jefferson and Jeff Taylor in for Gerald Henderson Gary Neal's check in for Charlotte it has not been an easy quarter for him at least offensively speaking now here's Bennett He's guarded close. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Are you serious? And the Cavaliers lead All right. by four. Okay. All right. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go. 
fucking go. Position. Well, you consider the wingspan. 7-1 allows him to play bigger than his height would suggest. And I've always said it's not how tall you are, it's how big do you play. Right. And his skill set allows him to play on the perimeter, too. Here's Verizhao. Jack for three. And it's out of bounds. Hey, man, we get, we get a lot of opportunities right now. We're just not capitalizing on them. Bobcats trail by four. Outside, Walker. It's Kid Gilchrist on the wing. Nick Roberts, the pass to Neal. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Somebody get the fucking board, man! And off the mark by Charlotte. Four good work on the glass there. And it's all said and done. I think rebounding might well tell the story in this one. And that should tilt things toward them. I mean, they've been winning that battle. Charlotte's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Della Vidova by Kid Gilchrist. Ball stolen. Finished off the break. Jeez. Kid Gilchrist has got six points. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Jack again. It's Walker. Out left of the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Bennett. Rejected by McRoberts. And he's able to get it back. The Bobcats have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Terrible fucking Walker shot. shot is off. Yeah, that's a Terrible shot, see the terrible. I'm going for the I'm going for the kill. I'm going for the kill. I'm trying to play checkers, not chess. I need to play chess, not checkers. What the fuck? He has to be concerned with all the missed shots. I mean, it happens to every team, but you have to find a way to keep being productive even when you go to shooting drop. He might be trying to tell them to get to the free shit. Teams go cold at points during the game, but the good teams still find ways to score. Good now from outside, and we reached the end of the first. Ah, down four, down four. Where's my run? Where is my run? And that's gonna do it for the third quarter. I can be the press, dog. Don't worry about that. There you go. Shit! That's the five for Cleveland right now. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. But it hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. Side Irving. Dang kicks to Thompson. Damn, that hurt. He gonna press now? Thompson's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the can. And an important part of every team. Dude, what the fuck, man? The hustle steps for the Cavaliers. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And the other thing, guys, defensively. Oh, God, man. Out and blocking shots. You know, you watch Irving over the course of his first two seasons, guys, and he's so in control of himself late in games and really positions himself. Bro, I'm going to break the press. I'm going to break that press. That's why he's so good in the clutch. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to break. You ain't going to get that damn still in the press. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops and they can't afford any wasted. All right, I got I can't. I got to press up. Shit, man. I'm trying to run a play on me. Okay, I got you. About the late game clutch play for Kyrie Irving, his rookie season statistic. He was the best in the league at scoring in the clutch. That's an amazing stat. Man. I mean, that says it all. He's a, a tremendous shooter, He's got size and ball handling skills to get him anywhere on the court. And uh, I think in the next few years, Kyrie Irving will be considered the best point guard in the NBA. Can you not get a tip in? That's, that's crazy. Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, Kevin.
Kevin, Steve Clifford was just going over the game plan with his team. A oh, good shot. He hasn't been happy with their shot selection. He told them we're forcing things out there, guys. Space the floor, make the extra pass, work for the open shot in the flow of our offense. We'll see if they heed that advice, Kevin. <sighs> Thank you, Doris. Another strong rebound, just like we got used to seeing from them today. Yeah, Come on, we just need a bucket right now. We need a bucket. Kimba Walker's cold. You can't just run guys over. For the Cavaliers, Tyler Zeller comes in for Spencer Hawks. And Jared Jack has subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Walker dishes to Jefferson. Let's go. Let's go. Time from Walker. Let's go, man. Let's go. Jefferson. Jack passes to Waiters. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. There's the bucket. Good. Waiters got the lead up to eight now. No, sir. You're getting that. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Henderson kicks to Walker. The pass to Jefferson. No good. Excellent D there from Tyler Zeller. Hell the fuck no. And out of bounds as the Bobcats gain possession. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Walker dishes to Henderson. He feeds it. Ooh, motherfucker. Jack with it. Jack gets a screen from Thompson. Tipped away. It's stolen by Jefferson. Walker goes in. Let's go, man. Oh, now six. Let's go. Heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Let's go. Woo, boy. Thank you, MKG, man. Good Lord. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. Spencer Hawes has checked in for Cleveland. Man. Irving comes in for Jim. Let's go. Defensive stop right here, man. By four. Oh, hell no. About to say, me, here's that I'm done. Here's that I'm done. They've done a great job of controlling the boards in this one, Kevin. Walker the pass to Jefferson. Everyone, let's go. On Jefferson. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since half. He didn't have a whole lot working. Let's go, man. And Clark, as you were seeing, even though it's close, they really have had inside presence. Right as always, partner. Irving. No way. Boy, oh my god! Another shot. <laughs> oh, come on! No way! No way! No! <laughs> Come on! He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Walker with it. Picked up by Thompson. And now the fast play, Irving with the ball. Here's I gave away the fucking game. I gave away the game. I gave it away on the alley. That was stupid. Oh, big shot. Big shot. Big shot. Man. Money. 
surprising high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. Irving drives in. And Walker gets. Let's go! What a difference in this crowd right now, Clark. Yeah, they're breathless, nervous, and quiet. Yeah. Wow. It is quiet time, Clark. You got that right. That was a huge. Wow. That was a good ass move. <laughs> Let's go out, let's go out. Man, here we go, baby. Bounds, the Bobcats will retain possession. A nice play to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. I tell you what, guys, if he gets there a fraction earlier, that's a steal. Shot clock at six. Poke loose. We still got time, man. We still got a chance. We still got a chance. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that put them up. Ah, still got a chance, man. Still got a chance. They're trailing by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? They simply need a basket here, Kevin. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket and try to get something. Oh! Oh man, good game. Good game.